The death of John Madden is heavily synced up with the beginning of the Raida dynasty. Or I should say the beginning has already happened a couple weeks ago. John Madden's death, birth year of 1936, rings a bell because Derek Carr was the 36th overall pick in the 2014 draft. The 36th connection has to do with the fact that the Raiders are going to win three Super Bowls in six years, dating from Super Bowl 56 to Super Bowl 61. So 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Okay, that's number one. The Vegas Radar Dynasty is going to span ups and downs for a time span of 74 months from John Madden's death to the day, presumably with the 18-week calendar season for Super Bowl 61. So that would fall in the 74th month. This would span six years and one month, the Radar Dynasty. They were stripped of a six-round pick because of COVID violations. Derek Carr is a sixth pick uh, in the draft. Uh, the Radars dynasty began when they won six games because they were six and seven right after the Chiefs game. That had everything to do with John Madden beginning coaching in the year 67. This is why the Radars began six and seven right after the loss to Kansas City. It is synced up with John Madden in the beginning of his coaching career. So six months in a day from the death of John Madden, six years in one month would be from the Radar Dynasty reaching its exclamation mark at its end. Radar is his Demacia 74, Al Davis born July the 4th. Speaking of Al Davis's death, close to 16 years, just over 16 years from Al Davis's death is when Derek Carr is going to win multiple Super Bowls with the Radars. Because don't forget that Jim Plunkett, number 16, won multiple Super Bowls with the Raiders. This would fall right around the 196th month ever since the death of Al Davis. That is the grand master plan for the symbolism that the Raiders have with diversity, with the fact that the new America is taking over the old white America. And of course, after 60 Super Bowls, this is beginning in Super Bowl 60, the Oakland Raiders and Derek Dallas Carr get this dynasty going. Six years in a month from the death of John Madden to the Raiders' sixth Super Bowl because Derek Carr's a sixth life path, so is John Madden. What do you get? Eight, two is ten, ten is one, three, four, 1991, 20, 20 is two, four, and two is six. John Madden, April is 4, 10, 1, 0 is 1, 1936 is 19, 19 is, is 1 and 9 is 10, 1 and 0 is 1. So John Madden is a sixth light path. Las Vegas Radars, John Earl Madden have Gematria 61. This is how we know that the dynasty is reaching its end six years and a month from the death of John Madden. It's John Earl Madden that defeated the Vikings in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl eleven, that is notice how the Raiders were founded in the year nineteen sixty, that the Raiders would win their sixth Super Bowl championship sixty uh what is it? Uh forty nine years after John Madden won Super Bowl eleven against the Vikings. Forty nine years later. And if I'm not mistaken <laughs> what else equals 49? Well, not the Vikings. Not the Vikings. The Vikings would equal 32. The Vikings, the VI, the Six Kings. Will the Raiders defeat the Vikings in Super Bowl 61 as a tribute to John Madden? I can see that being the next Super Bowl matchup. The Raiders in Minnesota in Super Bowl 60. I can totally see that happening. Think about how the NFC North is going to shape once Aaron Rodgers is done. What team is going to be in there in the Super Bowl against the Raiders? It may be a tribute to John Madden. No doubt about it, if we see the Minnesota Vikings in Super Bowl 61, that it has everything to do with John Madden being one of the winningest coaches in NFL history with a win percentage of 76. 
you got the Buccaneers, who the Raiders will be in this Super Bowl, and the fact that the Vikings and John Earl Madden as same Gematria. This is what we're getting for this year's Super Bowl, but notice how John Madden was dead at 42 years, of, uh, or he left coaching at 42 years of age, and this is going to have to do with the fact that the Raiders are going to be 4-2 in the Super Bowl. They're going to win with the special teams coach, Rich Passaccia. Was this guy playing out his life, his coaching career, his broadcast career, and getting involved as a broadcasting voice and then putting into a video game? Who knows? If John Madden's an actual Freemason. But it shows that the NFL is weird because John Madden is born at Austin, Minnesota, and he defeats the Minnesota Vikings in the Super Bowl. It really shows how weird it really is at the end of the day. Austin, Minnesota, his birth site is Jamacha 59. This would get going right after Super Bowl 59 in the year of Super Bowl 60 is when John Madden would win the Super Bowl championship or when the Raiders would win their fifth and sixth Super Bowl championships. And Derek Carr wins three out of the six Raider Super Bowl championships, six seasons and three titles. That's the whole significance of six foot three for Derek Carr when we really break it down. 74 months later, this is Tom Brady 7-4 and four in the Super Bowl. 74 months later, Al Davis born July the 4th. We've got Red Eyes having Gematria of 74. A, a big thing to look at when we're breaking down the Las Vegas Red Eye dynasty. So this is their either their 61st or 62nd season. So as it stands, this is their 62nd season overall. So uh, the 61st season is when the Raider Dynasty is... Uh, no, it is. And it's, uh, <laughs> this is the 62nd season overall. In Super Bowl 56. And then we got... Uh, we got Super Bowl 60 for their 66th season. Then the 67th season would mark the year of Super Bowl 61. So the 67th season. The dynasty is in their 67th season. The Ray Di dynasty begins right after 6 and 7, losing to the Chiefs. John Madden began coaching in the year 67. Pleasanton, California has same gematria as the rigors of the NFL, the Zionist order, that is. Pleasanton has got gematria of 117 and 36. Derek Carr drafted 36 overall, <laughs> born in the year 36, three Super Bowls spanning in six seasons. For Coach John Madden and company in the Raiders. It'd be interesting to see what this final playoff record would be with Derek Carr at that moment in time. Something very interesting to look at. John Earl Madden, Raiders give up 48 points against the Chiefs. The 6-7 and seven record has everything to do with this uh, the year that he got into coaching. Remember, he's the youngest coach at 32 years of age. John Madden, coach of the Raiders. So, Super Bowl eleven. this is 50 years later. This is 50 years later that the Raiders become the dynasty that we know the Raiders to be. So, I wonder if that's where we get Coach Madden into the equation. end it right here. We all know the death of John Madden is heavily synced up with the Rada dynasty. If you're curious about numerology, it is a nine. So, does this all happen, you know, ninth season in Las Vegas or whatever? Well, 
wouldn't really be the case. It'd be the seventh season in, in, in Las Vegas that the Raiders win three championships in seven years. Nine playoff wins, so to speak. A lot of one and dones. That'd be pretty crazy if we actually speculate that, if that actually is true. He was drafted by the Eagles, John Madden. Drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles is to March of 49. I mean, it'd be 49 years would be from Super Bowl 11 to Super Bowl 60, if we're really talking about that. Significant for the year 22 and for Super Bowl uh, 56 as well. Now that riddle with Philadelphia has to do with the fact that Tom Brady's last Super Bowl lost to Philadelphia, so that's really what's significant about Philadelphia and, and, and John Madden. Now, he had a playing career at Cal Poly. You can see if Cal Poly means anything. Well, Cal Poly's got to match of 84 and 30. Also, they could be defending champions before the Super Bowl in Arizona. That does have some meaning as well. So, Key pointers here is John Madden's death is synced up with the Raider dynasty in a very big way. His birth year and then the time span close to six years and a month before the Raiders win the third Super Bowl championship with Derek Dallas.